Hey guys, it's been a while since I've talked to you, but today I have another graphics card unboxing and it's gonna be pretty crazy, I think. I don't know, as from the gold box, it's gonna be a little bit different. MSI GTX 970, and you can kind of see like the outline of the card here and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. So let's crack it open and see what's all inside of it. By the way, there's Charlie. He's looking at his fountain right now. Look at that. Oh, it's picking up the chair though instead. Oh, look at that, Charlie. <laughs> okay, so what's up everybody? Sergeant Pope here again. Have another graphics card unboxing. I'd like to start doing reviews for this stuff, but for now it's just unboxings. But uh, I picked out this gold 970. If you're interested in other 970 unboxings, I have a ton of them on my channel, so look, at, uh, look for them, I guess. One thing I noticed off the bat, um, here's all the features that uh, NVIDIA, I guess, offers with the uh, 970, basically on every 970, so I'm not really gonna talk about it too much. It's pretty obvious, G-Sync, Shield, um, NVIDIA Surround, I guess, and just a bunch of other stuff. NVIDIA Super Resolution, but uh, stuff like that. Let's talk about the minimum system requirements since those are pretty important. And I think they might actually be a little bit different on this card. Of course, PCI Express slot, probably get an X16. Uh, one eight pin and a one six pin, which is, uh, um, I guess that's pretty common on 970s, at least overclocked ones. And then needs 500 watts and 42 amps, which is actually pretty high. Specifications right there, um, it's like the same on all these cards. The, the four gigabytes actually basically 3.5 gigabytes in case you haven't seen all the controversy about that. They got a new fan design on here, which I'm pretty sure it stops whenever the uh, CPU isn't really, or the GPU isn't really running hot. They got S pipes for the uh, copper pipes. Uh, yeah, the, the fans stay quiet and then the gaming app so you can overclock the card. And like I said, it's the gold edition. Holy balls. This box is really gold though. Damn, it's, it's, it's actually really hard to read off of, to be honest, with all the light in this room, but uh, pretty cool stuff. So let's unbox it. While I'm unboxing it, I'll tell you guys about Cunning Edge Gamer, which is really the only way I can afford these graphics cards. So if you guys want to check out my uh, link in the description for Cutting Edge Gamer, then that helps me out a lot. Helps me afford these graphics cards, the weapon to your own game. By the way, you might be hearing Charlie meowing. He is an asshole sometimes, he's my cat. But if you guys want to check out Cutting Edge Gamer, I'll probably have uh, some screenshots going on right now. Cutting Edge Gamer is pretty awesome. They allow you to uh, release graphics cards, you pay monthly. And uh, that's personally what I do. I find a lot of value in it. Some people don't find value in it. And if you don't, then that's cool. You can still buy these graphics cards and uh, it actually is cheaper to buy them. But uh, if you uh, get cards through Cutting Edge Gamer, there's a bunch of other benefits like uh, free shipping, I guess. If your graphics card ever breaks, they'll get you a new one. And uh, you can upgrade whenever you want, which is really, uh, which really comes in handy a lot because um, that's what I like to do. But let's crack open these graphics cards. By the way, um, like I said, check out Cutting Edge Gamer. It does help me out if you do. Um, it's a cool service, and you have any, if you have any questions about it, let me know. But uh, I like it a lot personally. Get uh, some stuff about MSI in there, which is cool. It's going to be disappointing if all this stuff is regular. It looks like that's what you get with the regular one too. Because I do have an unboxing of the regular MSI GTX 970. And then there's a uh, 6 pin to an 8 pin adapter. If you don't have any 8 pins on your power supply, then you can still use this. And it looks like you get a DVI to VGA. I believe those are all the same accessories that came on the uh, gaming edition of this graphics card which is the slightly dumbed down version, I guess, as far as clock speeds go. But um, looks like you pretty much get everything in this card that you get with the other one, which is kind of lame, but whatever. Now I'm also gonna mention really quickly that while we look at this graphics card, I believe this graphics card is actually clocked less than GeForce's uh, 970 and EVGAs. I'll put some clock information on the screen right now to show you guys exact uh, numbers, but this one's clocked somewhere around 1.1 or 1.2 gigahertz, and I'm pretty sure the EVGA and the, the GeForce one is actually clocked faster than that. This card is really heavy though, I'll mention that though, damn. But anyways, uh, despite talking about that, I figured it'd be kind of cool to show you guys this graphics card, and uh, wow, this graphics card does look very interesting. As you can see from this sticker, these fans do not spin until the card um, gets like to 65 degrees or something like that. Um, and NVIDIA, or well not, not NVIDIA, EVGA does this, GeForce does this, I mean pretty much every brand does this these, these days. So if you get this graphics card and the fans are not spinning, there is a good reason for it. And actually it's really awesome because then your computer runs uh, quieter and everything of course. 
We've got a little dragon army uh, thingity do right there, which is sweet. Um, I don't know if you guys can really tell. Hopefully, you guys can kind of tell. Uh, it looks like the heat sink is all colored um, gold, which is very interesting. Um, of course, it's usually just like silver, I guess, or whatever what it normally is. But uh, it looks like it's all gold. Lots of heat pipes. Holy crap, is that a lot of heat pipes? So, uh, very interesting. And there's a back plate, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, display ports look, uh, I guess, somewhat standard. Actually, they're not totally standard. Uh, full size display, full size HDMI, two DVI. So if that's the setup you want, then that's cool. Um, a lot of 970s come with three display ports, but this one only has one, so keep that in mind. And then there's a little vent hole there, which is uh, cool, I guess. And uh, oh, you can actually see that. I wish they kind of covered that up because on these, <laughs> look, you can just like poke your finger in there just for fun, I guess. But uh, maybe that gives better airflow, I guess, maybe. <laughs> so there we go. I mean, basically the, the heat sink is essentially the same as the regular gaming edition from what I can see. The fans look the same. The heat sink looks the same. The heat pipes look pretty similar um, and everything like that. Oh, it does have this little thing right there. And I believe that does light up. Um, I'll show you guys a picture if I can uh, do that in post uh, footage of this. Um, I don't know what that lights up as. Maybe it's gold. That would be kind of convenient if it was gold, but uh, who knows. And of course, look at all those damn heat pipes. Holy crap. Man, and everything just p painted gold. That's just pretty awesome. Here's where the power comes in, and uh, like MSI's other GTX 970, it is reversed so that uh, you can uh, hook up the power pretty easily and take it off pretty easily. Six pin and an eight pin, nothing too crazy there. There's a back plate, which really honestly looks pretty great. Here's what it'll look like from inside your PC, which uh, just looks great. Um, I think it adds some more dissipation to the back of the card, which is cool as well, um, but uh, looks just Balls to the walls, awesome. That little dragon MSI late or, or limited edition. Um, don't know how limited it is, but uh, that's pretty freaking sweet. And we got some holes on there too, which just look absolutely beautiful. Damn, looks pretty good. MSI. Two uh, SLI bridges if you're going to run this thing in SLI, which is nice as well. And that's pretty much all I got to say about this. Uh, this card looks pretty sweet. If I ever get time to, uh, if I ever have enough time to review this, I would absolutely review this because this thing looks sweet. I don't know how well it's going to perform compared to my other 970s I've had. Like, uh, it'd be interesting to compare this to uh, Gigabyte's, uh, you know, Wind Force cooler because um, that has three fans. Of course, this has two fans that are slightly bigger but uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, so I'll try to come out with a review of this. If I have enough time, college has been pretty crazy, which is why you guys have probably not noticed many videos on this channel recently, which honestly does kind of suck, but uh, that's just uh, kind of how it's been, you know? So uh, that's just how it is. Anyways, I'll just show you guys some more shots of this. And uh, just so you guys know, I do have a couple of reviews coming up pretty soon. So if you guys are looking out for some more content, get show as glued to your subscriptions, I guess. Look, there's three heat pipes going to, this, to the GPU, which is nice. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out this quick unboxing video. I guess it's not really quick. It's actually pretty in-depth. But uh, thank you guys for checking it out. If you want to drop a like on it, be sure to do that. If you don't want to, then fuck off, I guess. I don't know. Just uh, leave a comment or something. If you want to do that, that's cool with me too. Anyways, thank you guys for stopping by. And uh, I don't know. I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys want to get this graphics card yourself, either buy it from Amazon or something, or you can lease it from Cutting Edge Gamer and pay something around 40 bucks a month, which is, uh, in my opinion, pretty affordable. But uh, you guys make your own decisions on what you think about that. I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great motherfucking day.